So I recently rewatched the anime tricks I'm prone to do every year or so. I think I was maybe 14 or 15 the first time I saw it. And I remembered how much this movie just blew my mind away and both enhanced and elevated my understanding of the original trilogy. I think it's fair to say that this was the first time a film had a profound existential impact on my young psyche. The first time I questioned my place in the universe, what the nature of reality was, consciousness, intelligence. Its effect on me simply can't be overstated. In any case, I digress. But if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you give it a chance. It's this collection of these short, beautifully animated stories that dive deep into the Matrix lore. From the melancholic and moody kid story to the dystopian nightmare of the second renaissance, part one and part two. Anyways, as I sat there watching it, a question suddenly popped into my head. If the Matrix were real, what programming language would it be written in? Python? C? C++? Rust? Assembly? JavaScript? <laughs> okay, maybe not JavaScript. But anyways, as someone who's fascinated by computers and tech, the question stuck with me. Now, a part of me naturally understood that it was also kind of a silly question because we're talking about a fictional world and a fictional programming language. But still, I wondered if there was a way to extrapolate what the Matrix source code might look like based on existing media and real-world AI models. But where to start? Well, why not start by asking an actual AI? So I headed over to OpenAI.com and asked our AI overlord, ChatGPT, what she thought. I don't know why I'm calling it a she, by the way, but I am, so fucking deal with it. Her answer was quite interesting, and this is what she said. In the fictional world of the Matrix film series, the machines and their code are not explicitly specified in terms of a real-world programming language. The movies focus more on the philosophical and narrative aspects of the story rather than the technical details about the programming languages used by the machines. The concept of the Matrix is more rooted in science fiction and philosophical allegory than in real-world technology, so it's not possible to pinpoint a specific programming language that the machines would use. In the film, the Matrix is portrayed as a highly advanced and complex virtual reality simulation, and its inner workings are deliberately left mysterious. If we were to speculate, one could imagine that the machines might use a highly advanced and specialized programming language that doesn't exist in our current world. However, it's important to remember that the Matrix is a work of fiction, and the details of its technology are meant to serve the story rather than provide a realistic depiction of a computer program. This actually makes perfect sense because why would the machines, who are vastly more intelligent than humans, continue to use human-based programming languages? That makes no sense. Programming languages exist so humans can interface with machines, but a machine has no need of that since it's, well, a machine. A machine using a high or low or even mid-level programming language would be like me, a native English speaker, using an interpreter to speak to another native English speaker. Utterly redundant. The machines would use and understand machine code directly. And since we're on the topic of interpreters, let's quickly talk about the difference between compiled, interpreted languages and machine code, just for the sake of clarity. So we understand that a program, like the Matrix for instance, is just a set of instructions given to a computer in order for it to perform a specific task. We use programming languages to accomplish this. However, your computer doesn't see your Python or C script, i.e. the source code. Rather, your source code has to be transformed into machine code, or what's known as an executable or binary first. How this happens depends on whether you are using an interpreted language or a compiled language. In compiled languages like C, you first write your source code, like this simple Hello World program. Then you compile it into machine code, which creates a separate file or executable. So when you run this program, you are not running the source code file, denoted by the .c extension, but the executable, which is in machine code. Now, let's take a look at a simple Python program that does the same thing. The difference here is Python isn't compiled before runtime, but rather at runtime, vis-a-vis -vis the Python interpreter. No executable is created, and hence the complaint that high-level languages like Python are slow. Either way, both the source code of the C program and Python program must be compiled in the machine code. 
So going back to what ChatGPT said, we may never know what language the machines use. And don't give me that bullshit that this is the matrix source code, because it's not. It's just a virtual representation of it, because if it was, Cypher damn sure wouldn't be able to read that shit. So even though we may never know what programming language the matrix was written in, we can ascertain what their jumping off point was. What language were the early machines written in? As things stand, Python is king of the hill when it comes to AI and machine learning. The trial of B166ER takes place in the year 2090. That's approximately 70 years from now. Will Python still be relevant in that time? I don't see why not. I mean, C was created in 1970 at Bell Labs, and that was 53 years ago, and C is still going strong. So I'd say it's a safe bet to say that the early machines were probably written in Python, and then Python was later abandoned for a more advanced language when the machines became autonomous during the Second Renaissance. I don't know, guys. I'm just speculating here, but what do you think? Be sure to like and subscribe and leave your thoughts below. Stay digital. Later.